What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, a place where we live our lives a quarter mile at a time. As a matter of fact, I lived 25 times this morning on the treadmill. Oh, 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 oh. And see you guys there. How we doing? <sighs> this week, we're building probably the most requested thing you guys have asked for. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't exactly know why this one particular build is been so requested, but hey, if you guys want it, I will do it, man. And I'm interested to check it out. Um, it should be a fairly easy build. I'm gonna put a little spin on it towards the end, but you could definitely like not do the carving aspect and whatnot. Um, and material is only like eight bucks. I finally broke down. I know the zombie apocalypse is slowly coming to an end, we hope. I'm trying not to go buy any lumber or any materials. I, I couldn't do it anymore, guys. I couldn't, I couldn't. I hadn't been to Home Depot in like a month, I think. Well for like actual material materials. But for this project, all you're gonna need is one eight foot two by 12. Let's get to work. Did I say they're Viking chairs? The Viking chairs, like it's a portable, the Viking chair, also called like a bog chair or a camping chair or a stargazing chair. I'm going with Viking chair because I think that sounds cooler than stargazer chair, but do what you want. And hey, Europeans, isn't bog a slang term for the crapper? All right, guys, so you can find plans for these all over the place. I will draw up my own plans and leave them below. I also think I might do an instructable on this, um, so I'll link that below as well once that gets done. But I haven't made one of these before, and I found so many plans online that I'm not sure which one's gonna be the best fit. Uh, I found ones that said to cut this to two three-foot sections and ones that cut, to, cut it to two four-foot sections. And then there's a bunch of variations after that. We're gonna start this out as I'm gonna cut this to two four foot sections. I'm going to build the chair and then we'll see if we like it like that. And if we do, we're good. If not, we'll cut another foot off and play with it from there. And these guys have seen the thumbnail, so I'm not really gonna go into how we're gonna do this. Um, it's pretty simple. We're gonna cut this in half. We're gonna cut a slot on one end. We're gonna taper the other end and then we're gonna fit that in into this end. Does that make sense? You saw the picture. Come on. to the planer. <laughs> there we go. All right, take our first spin. I don't know if I need all this. Do I need to be able to put my head back? Because I mean, if you're camping, I guess if you're stargazing, if you're taking a dump, it's not too bad. It's kind of comfortable. 
I guess I'll leave it at this length. And I think if I took a foot off the back of this thing, I'd be staring straight up. And I am taking this as more as like a camping, hanging out type chair and less of a stargazer. I guess if you wanted to just for stargazing, you would definitely take another foot off so you're looking straight up. I don't know if you could see, because everything was sped up, but there was a point where my, my straight edge, I guess kind of scooted on me a little bit. I guess I didn't have it tight enough. So this thing is not even at all. Um, I think the only way I can fix that at this point with this one is to uh, is to cut the other side in because right now one of them's you know like two inches, one of them's like three inches. So cut the other one in in like another inch, and maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I was gonna do. I was thinking of giving it a taper, but that's mm, that makes me a little nervous, man. <laughs> like you want it to fit snug, so you can definitely sand that until it's snug, but. <laughs> <laughs> it was irritating me so bad, I just set it to the planer. Um, anyway, okay, so I have Sugi. Come here. Come here, Sugs. So, this, if you guys have not met her yet, is Sugi, the new shop dog. And Sugi needs to go for a walk. And then I have to go pick up the kids. So, we will start back here tomorrow. Uh, I need to make, I need to fix this one. And uh, so, this will be my. This is my practice chair, and then I need to make one more, uh, and then we get to carving, kids. We get to carving. But for now, I gotta get to work training this dog. Say hi, Suggy. So he's like, put me down. All right, baby, here you go. The next morning. All right, guys, they are roofing a house right over there. So if you hear any background noise, I apologize. I'm gonna try to keep this quick. Um, so this is what we got carved yesterday. Uh, pretty happy with that. I only messed up like three times. There's a little bite there, a little bite there, and a little bite there. I don't know why I always forget about this. When I stenciled this on, I might as well have just spray adhesive the thing on there and just carved through the paper. I don't know why I took the extra step to draw it all on there. Anyway, okay, so today we're going to figure out what we're going to do up here. I have a couple of different uh, cross type things that I've looked at, but I think I'm going to uh, use those as reference material and freehand it, kind of. So let's get to designing and then let's get to carving. <laughs> Some people like their Viking chairs regular. I like mine extra stanky. <laughs>
Well, chair works. I know I said I was gonna fix the other chair, but the carve just took a little too long on this one, so I figured I would just uh, save it for later, or maybe just maybe just make a new one. So what do you guys think? It's one of my bigger carves. Uh, like I could sit here and criticize it all day long uh, because that's what people like me do when we make stuff. Uh, but I think all in all it works. I think it's got a good aesthetic. And I think the little nuances where it isn't necessarily perfect make it a perfect camping chair for that reason. So difficulties with this, um, I'd say the main difficulty I have, and I don't know if it's just because I have a really crappy jigsaw, but as I see people cut straight lines with jigsaws all the time. And when I say straight, I don't mean straight like this, I mean straight up and down. And I see people cut two by lumber like that too. But whenever I see use a jigsaw to cut two by material, my blade cuts it like a severe angle. So you saw me using uh, the rafts and the files to file that down. A lot of that was just because the jigsaw cut wasn't straight. So I don't know if I'm not using the right blade on my jigsaw. Should I be using like an upcut blade or something? I know that DeWalt has like a super long one or wide one, I guess, that's supposed to uh, cut straighter. Uh, or is it, do I just really have a kind of a crappy jigsaw? Because I, I probably have one of the cheapest jigsaws you can buy. Now, the one thing I will say I wasn't happy with was the finish. And that's the reason I didn't show you the can when I was uh, when I was spraying it on. I went with a Verathane satin oil-based finish that's for exterior use. Now, if you guys know me, you know that if I'm not using Total Boats Halcyon, I use, I use Verathane a lot. I use a lot of their stains. I use a lot of their finishes and I have no problem with them. But for whatever reason, this particular finish took forever to dry. Uh, it's shiny in places. It's supposed to be satin. It's shiny in places. Other places it's dull. It's not even at all. And the, the, and the, the texture of it is, it, it's not smooth. So I will not be linking that below. <laughs> so I did take out some of the weight with the, the keyhole on the bottom and just the holes that run down the, the leg. But I will say it's a little heavy. If I had it to do over again, I would probably have taking some of these all the way through maybe just the squares or you know maybe even these parts of the loops and the squares something ah, but you know what it works for what it's intended for and that is sitting quietly and drinking whiskey and while i'm sitting quietly i would like to thank these guys right here my patrons clinkies Especially Stephen Mann and Nick the Greek. This was a viewer requested video. And when I say viewer requested, it wasn't just one of you. I got probably, probably 20 or 30 emails and at least two dozen comments requesting that I build these. So if there's something you guys want to see built, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. If I get enough requests for a particular thing, I'll definitely add it to my project list. And now that I know what I'm doing with these, if you guys have any ideas for different things to carve in the back, uh, let me know those in the comments down below as well. Because if I'm going to make another video on this in the future, it's going to be more about the carve and less about the build. And all that being said, guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for playing. Now I got to get to work. You guys are still here? <laughs> Bye.